there were some major PR flaws there. There were. The pictures that emerged with the uh, Jamaican children by the uh, by the fence. Exactly. I mean, some I don't think things. it was. A, I, I've got to be honest with you. I don't know how you feel at home about this, ladies and gentlemen. I, I love the kind of pomp and ceremony of it all. Obviously, I love the royal family, and I don't think there's anything wrong with them whatsoever. But it did. It was bad optics. I felt when you've got William in his resplendent white suit, you know, mm. Kate mm -hmm. in the white suit, elevated up, um, you know, and being driven through. I suppose townships, you could say, or whatever. Mm. It did. It was a little bit out of date for yeah, me. But, that. Yeah, but, yeah, but the slight problem is, whatever way you look at it, he is a white billionaire, right? You know, you can't <laughs> get away from the fact mm. that when a white billionaire visits a black country and, and sees poverty, it's going to look like that. But but I, I but I think we shouldn't be overly sensitive about this. The relationship between Britain and Jamaica has been long lasting. Uh, we, we wouldn't have been able to destroy the Spanish if we'd not kept all of our ships in the Caribbean. So that was that was a bit of a benefit. And uh, and Jamaica continues to con contribute not just to the Commonwealth but to British life in general. Um, and I think that's a great. Thing. Thing. So, look, I don't think we should be overly sensitive of it, and I'm just going to accuse you of being a communist on this. Oh, I think, come I think, on! I think, I think you are falling into the trap <laughs> of the political left by by being sensitive to a white billionaire wandering around the black community. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I wasn't there. <laughs> you, you surprised me so much that I've actually choked. <laughs> Have some more peanuts. You'll be all right.